I don't wait. How do we do this? Where are we I? doing a show today? It's June, what guys. Brandon host. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clickbait Sports, where today we are going to determine the worst NFL fan bases. We've got a lot of categories here in the tier maker today. I forgot to make uh, this one public. Lions already on the board with the Lions. Uh, you know, I figure we don't need to torture that fan base anymore in a category of its own, but I am joined. By YouTube powerhouses of sports, which is uh, the least powerful of all the categories. We've got five points vids, aka plunger head, right next to me. Urinating tree, king of hockey. I see. They, uh, they uh, moved me from the dank basement to a sort of cavernous yeah. room. So uh, at, that. at least they're treating me a little better. Moving on up in the world. Yeah, 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 a little bit. Next next week they'll throw me in a gra mass grave. So we're we're all good there. Well, I, I mean a punishment doing an entire episode from a pre-dug grave. Uh <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. And then oh, below no. we've got if the world worst there, lightning man. fan scooter Magruder. <laughs> Losing Listen. to my Colorado <clears throat> Avalanche. Bolton five. Bolton five. Wow. Bold. Oh, my God. Kip is not messing around. Ooh, it Scooter is going get to get oh, ugly. Man. Early. Kip. Oh, man. Relax, Kip. Too Relax. What is this? Not like and this. Of course. Sir Tom Grassi, recently knighted by Paul McCarthy and the Queen. Yes. yes. Paul McCarthy. But McCartney led McCartney. Paul McCartney. Yes, McCarthy. it was Paul McCartney. It, that's why it actually didn't go through. It was it was yeah. just a ripoff guy. But um, we are going to get to this tier maker. But first, I have a bone to pick with Tree. Uh, mm, okay. Because I I watched your haters guide to the mm -hmm. NHL postseason or okay. Stanley Cup, and at the very end, I need to you watch predict that. the Tampa Bay Lightning to win. And yes. I'm yes. going to give you a chance to change your stance. No, I'm not changing my stance. That overtime goal was very fluky. It literally just went off Victor Hedman, exactly. bounced towards an Avs player, and then went right to Andre Burkowski's exactly. stick. Exactly. Vasilevsky was out of position. There's nothing you can do there. Maybe he's just not as good as advertised. I don't know about that. Maybe you're just getting a little goals. overconfident. And uh, to be fair, you shouldn't have blown that 3 1 lead. I mean, you gave up some softies there for a sec. Yeah, Can that's I a lot of defensive issues. <laughs> Let me chime in as the sole Lightning fan in this group. Okay. We're going to start with the fact that I have about 5% knowledge of hockey right now. <laughs> I don't know anything. Okay. But here's what I do know the Lightning are a good team. And that some people are saying the Avalanche are a better team. They've got better players. It's their time. Uh -huh. I'm saying, sure. no, 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 no. Not so fast. The Great Wall of Vasilevsky, though you, will, though you were able to penetrate it game one, I do not think <laughs> it will be the same case game two, nor game three, nor four, or five. Five tree? Am I on to something? What's going on? I say six, and uh, yeah, I mean, I said that because Colorado's kind of banged up right now. They don't have Sam Girard. They don't have Nazem Kadri. Secondly, the Lightning know how to clamp down defensively in key situations. I think they would have won that game if it weren't for that fluky bounce. And number three, I know I'm in a really echoey room. I just got a desk installed today. And I haven't had time to put up soundproofing or anything like that. So that's why I know I'm seeing a few people in the comments going off about I'm in an echo chamber. And I mean, Sounds fine. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it's a symbolism of uh, our, our show right now. So 
I don't know. Here's here's what I have to say. First of all, Brandon, yeah. you don't watch enough Tree to know that every prediction he has ever made has been wrong. Like Incorrect. 90, I have made thousands thousands of predictions. Of, oh, what? what? Made the, a lot when of the Dodgers won the World Series? No, the, no the, when the, the Nationals won in seven. Okay. I, I predicted the Lightning, I think, in okay. 2021. Okay. Uh, I predicted okay. St. Louis to win. I predicted Washington, the Capitals, to win. I predicted, okay. well, the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. I predicted... A lot of stuff that happened. I predicted, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm kind of like broken I think clock. Somebody did like broken, broken clock. clock that and correct, bro. exactly correct, mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. All right. By the way, thank you, Carl Lindsay. Look, I'm, I just want to weigh in because I I know a couple things about hockey. Uh, number one, uh, if I follow Scooter Magruder, I was expecting a three on three overtime, not a full <laughs> five on five overtime. Listen, we're learning. <laughs> we are learning. We are learning. We're getting the game. Look, I'm not going to be like one of those hockey snobs that you get where that says, you know, nothing about hockey. There's always I that do. guy in your comments. Oh, dude, I do know nothing. That all the time. Um, look, Colorado has definitely their only weaknesses in net. And sometimes that is you can overcome that by scoring. And they scored four goals and it's going to be a tough series. It's going to go six or seven. I definitely think that Colorado's chess pieces in front of Kemper are better. Um, and the Lightning, they could they could be tired. They've played more hockey than anybody in Best the past years. three seasons. They've played two extra seasons worth of hockey in the, in the last three years. So um, no one's played as many games. Now, can they win it? Of course they can. They can. But I just think Denver – or Colorado is as the preferred nomenclature is very hungry and yes. Nathan McKinnon an absolute stud. Through 15 postseason games, the Avalanche are 13 and two, tying them for the best record with the 2012 Kings, the 88 Oilers, the 87 Oilers, and the 82 New York Islanders. Here's I what I saw company. during that game I saw Colorado have a lot of possession. They were they able do. to hold the ball for a long the ball. Yes. I'm sorry, yeah. puck. I'm learning. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're learning. Able to hold the puck for a long time. I didn't like that. I feel like that's not good for a team in hockey if the other team just has possession of the puck this whole time. So I feel like if we're able to sort that out, I also saw us making passes directly to the Colorado Avalanche. Yeah, a lot like, of turnovers. What it's turnover. gonna keep in our own zone too. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, if we can just get this squared away, I saw the info. It was like these teams have never met in the playoffs. So I'm thinking we're just gonna use here's a stat. John Cooper, okay, he's been our coach for nine seasons. Okay, four of those seasons, this man's in the Stanley Cup finals. Okay, so clearly he knows something about what he's doing. Uh, so I have faith that we're going to be able to make the necessary adjustments after just playing this team for the first time ever in the postseason. We beat you twice in the regular season too. Here's so. one thing that bothers me about postseason about, play is different. I just want to say one thing before we go to this tier maker. The one thing that bothers me the most about John Cooper is how ridiculously handsome this 54 year old man is. And I look at myself and I'm like 45 years old and I'm just like, this dude is still looks great. More handsome or, than Bednar? Uh, I, I don't know about that. Um, is the but, name <laughs> is the name Nachuskin? Nachuskin. Nachuskin. So yeah, you were Nachuskin. correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. I got this in the video. Just want to make sure I'm saying the right name. <laughs> okay. Nachuskin. Okay. Wait. Before we do this, do we want to touch on NBA? It could end tonight. Uh, yes. Uh, I think that it's done tonight. No, no, no. Wait, I'm changing my position. I think that the NBA steps in. Uh, Adam Silver calls down to the refs. He's like, hey, uh, I need a favor. Dick Bavetta is going to ref tonight, and we Dick, need a seventh Dick game. Dick Bavetta is refing tonight, okay. Yes, Heart Dick Bavetta will be inserted into the game, and he's going to call tons of uh, – uh, what's his name? Steph Curry is going to throw his mouthpiece into the mm. Raptors tonight out of frustration. Well, seventh games. Incoming. The Warriors aren't the Sacramento Kings. They're not going to do that to them. Yeah. Well, every once in a while, the NBA will throw you an okie doke and be like, ah, we're going to end it tonight. 
because everyone's I expecting. I want it to end tonight so that I don't have to make any more gosh darn reactions. Oh. <laughs> so, Warriors, stop playing. Y'all got this, Warriors. I believe in you. But if it goes seven, uh, we could be in for a masterful performance. I don't know. I don't know. Like this, It's going to come down to a couple players, in my opinion. It literally is going to come down to if Draymond scores four or more points, Golden State will win this series. If uh, yeah, Draymond scores four or more points tonight, Golden State will be a champion. I, I think Draymond should live stream at halftime if if that happens. If he's if he gets like two in the first half, then he should he goes live and tells you where he's at, and then he gets two more in the second. Man, I'm about to tweet this. If Draymond scores Boom. four points. We are now going to rank the best and worst NFL fan bases because it is June. What else are we going to talk about? Mm -hmm. uh, now, we talk we're going to probably go all over the place here. There's a lot of ways you can look at this, right? Like, are we – is a worst fan base? Are we talking about just the biggest a-holes – you know what I mean? Like the biggest a holes, on saltiest. Media, we have saltiest. We talking about the guys who don't show up to watch their teams? Is that the worst? Uh, like you could say the you know Patriots fans are are a bad fan base, but they show up and watch their team. We'll see how long they keep showing up uh, with Mac Jones. Uh, but like we got to think about some of those different things as we go through this. That's true. Why don't we just all go through and say what we think is the worst, like what we think makes a team have the worst fan base. I'll start since I suggested this. I believe the worst fan base is a mixture of a couple of things. Okay. One, you have to have a series of not winning that can contribute to it. So your team's terrible but you still talk trash. To me, that's egregious. So Cowboys fans? No. More like uh -huh. Giants like fans, for example. Like, yeah, we do talk a lot of trash. Giants fans don't really talk trash, trash, though, not as a blade. So like, not, not well, a fan well, base no, 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 no. If you, you hang out with me too much, Tree. There's a lot of Giants fans that talk. Like, we win th two games in a row, and Giants fans are putting us in the Super Bowl. And I'm like, would y'all shut up? Now, trust me, I know Shut there's a ways why Giants fans are annoying, especially on Dumpster Fire, when you're talking about how Daniel Jones is the savior, yet every single week you're complaining about how bad Daniel Jones is. That's, that's, I didn't see that's that part, part of being a Giants fan, so, so put us in annoying. Hypocrisy, mm -hmm. is, hypocrisy is a good one. one element mm -hmm. as well. Tom, what about for you? What makes a fan base terrible in your opinion? Uh, let's see. Overly cocky. Uh, mm -hmm. saying that they're going to go to the Super Bowl every single season uh, when they have done nothing in the past to actually earn that success. Uh, I would say overall douchebaggery in which, uh, you know, you go to a game and whether they're just like terrible people or they boo Santa or something like that. So like, well, I don't think the Eagles are like God awful. They're like one of the worst just because of previous things. So, yeah, I would say that those are some of the criteria. Okay. 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 Well, okay. We're just going to so go down actual, the line here and place these, I think. Okay. Um, yes. I, I just want to add one criteria is unable to take criticism oh, and then going ooh, out and then making personal attacks ooh. after not being able to take a criticism or a joke of some kind and just being like, ah, blah, 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 blah. Let me go through oh, your Twitter yeah. and, and find out. We should also add racist to that's yes. definitely <laughs> on there as well. Mm. First but how do you categorize? Like, come on, we can't categorize an entire fan base. That's true. That is true. I'm just saying a uh, couple bad actors. On the skew, though, though gotta, I will gotta say there have been some incidents in certain cities that were very racist, but uh, let's not label everyone that way. So do we begin right. with the Cardinals then? So we can start with the yeah, well, the Cardinals, okay. I'm going to put Cardinals. Oh, man, where do we put the Cardinals? They're a tough one because they don't have yeah. anything to – Yeah, it, they're just well, they, average, They've kind of right? had it. They've been like, eh. I've never gotten they into their online argument yeah, with a Cardinals like, fan. Yeah. You, I said we put them at average just because uh, – Don't they not have – DeAndre Hopkins, like – 
they yeah. don't talk smack they don't yeah, really don't, you know they don't. they also don't have like i mean there is there a cardinals like i don't even identifying know my, group I of know people like cardinals the cardinals man. nation like bird watchers know, yes mm. the bird watchers Grand we're gonna go the name of their group i'm okay with average average yes if we can't think it's of like anything i think we just default men. to average what do you guys say mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go with the sneak, a sneaky one here. Okay. The 49ers, an incredibly violent fan base. <laughs> <laughs> Lots. Yes, I would say so. Yeah, a lot of the fights. Like if if you go look up footage of NFL fan fights, you're gonna see what uh, 49ers getting into it. You're gonna see Commanders fans getting into it because their stadium gets overrun by opposition. And uh, can't yeah, candlestick was rough back in the day, and then Raiders fans are pretty, yeah, violent. yeah, uh, yeah. Steelers can, Ravens fans get a lot of let's definitely put too. Raiders and violent right now. We can just go ahead, well, actually. But wait, we're thinking of the Oakland Raiders, though. The Las Vegas Raiders oh, fans, true. they're there's there to they're actually nursing their hangover by Ooh. the time they get into the game, so and just and they kind of price them out. Allegiant has priced. The riff raff. So are they just bad? Ooh. Mm. Mm. They had they had a they only had one year so they far. They do so. have a they great had a high no show percentage last year, but that could be because they were requiring uh vaccination uh proof. So that uh, could like, change this what year. What kind? Like Valtrex or yes. You could not be carrying herpes that was active while going to a Raiders game, which yes. really, I mean, for Vegas, what happens in Vegas? Vegas yeah. In Way down. <laughs> yeah. Way uh, I did just want to point out here for the 49ers uh, in a single season, there have been over 3,415 incidents at Levi Stadium. Incidents. This tally includes over 200 fights and 23 felony arrests. In <laughs> just one <laughs> season. Dude, no, when you gotta drive I'm doing the, the Eagles. Clara, yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, they're they're on a different level. I mean, the Eagles have lost their crown. Is can there? We, can yeah. I? Uh, is it possible to change a tier from bad to sad? Because I feel like there's more sad. Well, that's the Lions. That's like the most. I, think we get I understand, but like, I would put the Jaguars as a sad fan base. I'd put the Commanders no, no, the, as a no, sad Jags fan base. No, Jags have a like, pretty bad fan base, dude. Whenever yeah, the they uh, talked they about Saxonville, the they talked a lot of they smack. And they did nothing but That was like smash. one year, though. The majority year. No, but they still sad. did. And the, there are certain instances where they can't take a joke either. That, yeah. it, that's because their team sucks. It's a joke. I mean, they did dress up as clowns. I mean, for that their own so pretty good though. Where I mean, are we like, gonna put the Raiders so we can move on? Raiders, violent, violent. Okay, okay, yeah, because like I think overall they have a pretty solid fan base in terms of like team support and showing up, and also is iconic. Uh, and as much as like I hate yes. to say that, yeah. You know right, what? I'm with Tom. I'm with Tom with the sad Jaguars fans because, in my opinion, I know Jags fans. I'm in Florida. These guys aren't bad fans. They are just the product of having a terrible coach and a terrible owner. That's what I'm saying with Washington. It's the same yeah. deal. I, honestly, I'm with Tom because mm -hmm. I know Commander fans too. These guys aren't bad fans. They're they held just, hostage. Exactly. By their own team. Yeah, I would just throw. I, I just add a raw sewage pile and then put Washington in it. <laughs> <laughs> we're I'm rooting okay. for sewage every week this is sure. what we've become as a raw sewage <laughs> and torn acls that's all the washington gets the with for. washington is i think they, that they have lost so many fans in the in the last five years a lot of them have become indifferent to the losing a lot of them uh did not support the previous name but were just upset that um daniel snyder changed then it just because he bent you know like a lot of People were mad about that. They're mad at the stadium sucking. They're mad at the the team the games getting invaded every year by opposing fans. Like they're just indifferent and upset. So sad. Yeah, sad's good. Sad's good. I think okay, well, maybe we need a tier therapy. that says needs therapy. Go ahead and put the Cowboys in annoying because I already know you're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, fine. put us in there. And yeah. you know what? I will agree. Some of us are annoying. I don't care though. Some. Having optimism, if that makes us annoying, I don't care. We're winning the Super Bowl this year. I don't care. 
Didn't you say that last year, Scooter? Don't uh, worry about did, that. Did, did, year before didn't that. you mention one of your complaints about saying year you're going that. to the Super Bowl well, not having anything to justify it? Year didn't before you just that. say that like yeah, five listen, minutes ago? Didn't my you justification say... is very simple. We play in the NFC East. Every year we can go to the Super Bowl until they change our divisions. So yeah, every, every year, year every, every other year you're gonna miss the playoffs. Just winning, winning the, the division. division. I am like winning the division. This rant, I, I feel like, moves them to bad. Didn't you say that they were going to win 15 games last year? Listen, <laughs> 15 and 2, did. yes. And they almost did. And they did almost. They? They, did I thought they? they won 11 games. They almost did. That's close. <laughs> I thought That's 11. It's like week 8 or 9. It was getting That's rough there for a second. entire quarter of the season. Okay. Yes. Annoying. I will I will, I will. will agree with annoying. Well, well, Falcons fans. Add. See, I put them sad. sad. They're sad. Salty. They're sad. They only have Kyle Pitts. That is literally the only thing positive for that team right now. They're right. sad. Sad. Injured. Injured is another way to describe them. Injured. How is Matt Ryan playing on another team? Like, oh, we're how did they allow to get this? Sean Watson. A good <laughs> fan base. There's good. no such thing as a good fan base. There's no good fan base. Yeah. Best. Uh, Give any fan base enough fan oxygen, base they'll become toxic. Yes. Well, I think All because right. we have to have like one as a best, and you, yeah. we got to have some good in there, some good fan base. Cleveland presents problems here Oof. because <laughs> Cleveland is complicated. You have one of the most dedicated fan bases. Like, look, their team left. Honestly, it's like we're still going to hold the light and the candle for our team until we get one back. I feel like it might be sad. Like, because I feel I the amount of Browns fans that I have talked to and seen the reaction for, like, mm -hmm. you have Deshaun Watson, and like, there's mm -hmm. that weird, like, oh my God, we could finally be good, but also look who's At representing the team. Right. They yeah, went I mean, from being dude. like one of the most beloved fan bases like two years ago, and they're now one of the most hated. I, yeah. I mean, they're I in would a put weird... them in the Lions category. Lions. <laughs> they're in the same the Lions. Lions. Yeah, yeah. You're so bad you can't even get I it. I would to put them in the Like you had one year to be well. proud of your team, and now it's like, nope. Put them it's, in yeah, the Lions. Lions haven't yeah. had that. Okay. Put Lions them in haven't the even Lions had that. Lions had that in like 1992. No, right? the last year was the most proud Lions fans have been, and it was because their ex quarterback won a Super Bowl. That's, That's true. how pathetic the Lions are. Okay, we got to get some good no advice. Like, are there some teams we can all agree that the okay, Bills? I yeah, I was Bills have Bills. great Bills fans. Best, I, easy. I think yeah. the Bills are at the best for now. I think the Packers. I mean, not, not to be biased, but like I mean, the Packers at the worst. No, no, no. Right no. Now. See, Tom, the Packers used to be the best, but because of you personally, you have made them now annoying. Like, got you it. Are, you being the face of the Packers fan base. Is that like, just because Giants haven't done anything in the past like decade? Or oh, we're in the like, we're in the bad. No. We're yeah. we're we're not good fans. All I'm going Giants to say fans. is, once the Bills get success, they will become annoying. But that happens to every team. Remember when we used to say the Patriots were a feel bad fan base? Oh, uh, yeah. Boston you was you know the lovable rip? losers. Not can anymore. You, can you put Patriots in first just right now? Yeah, can we agree on this? Are they right. not the, the worst the fans? Packers are at least good. We are like one of the best traveling fan bases in the nfl we have been sold out it takes 40 years just to get to the front of a Put season ticket the holder Packers right next to the cowboys stop playing no no, no. Right. I, I will like, listen he's players. right though the packers you, too will have a persecution complex dude you're just i'm telling no. you cowboys. you're a different color cowboys you're you've won more super bowls <laughs> recently cowboys that's all the packers are with aaron Rodgers, and when he leaves you will be Irrelevant. But I've been I hearing that for this, years though. now. What's the Aaron Cowboys Rogers excuse? Is still there. I will Aaron say Rogers this. is still there. And yeah, I think we need an official one. vote for the Packers. Because because I'm voting Packers annoying. fans really don't have anything else to fixate on. Most of them are knowledgeable about football. Like they're not. There's I don't I haven't I don't think I've ever met a casual Packers fan. So I will give them credit for that and put them in the good category. That's my vote. It's good. good. We got a yeah. good from our just for fans? just for knowing the game of football. A good, good from Tom. Annoying, annoying from Scooter Tree. Where do you put the the Packers? Annoying or good? Ooh, I would Ooh, go Minnesota annoying. fan. So Minnesota. You say annoying? annoying. I, yeah. Uh, ask any part of the NFC North. They will say annoying. 
Oh, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. So this comes is down to Perna. Other, dude. Wow. Perna, I'm Perna, telling you, buddy, GPS is going to be real, real awkward. You're the five <laughs> yeah, so on five they got to do a show overtime. with Tom, they're going to good. Good. Yeah. No good. Yeah. Good. Also, they help me with Actually, Super Bowl. Just this is biased. Don't want to recount. Chat, can I let us know. I'm a Lions vote. fan. Let's do go. you agree, okay. chat? Let She's us know what, if you my, agree. Type yes can we do no a poll? Right now. Yeah, yeah, do there. a poll in well, the chat and, right now. And I'll be honest. Sure, like, I'll, I'll put it on my board. I interact with a lot of Packers fans because of doing the show with Tom, and they're pretty cool to me. So, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm doing a poll. Yeah, no. Got him. Poll's running. Got him. Go okay. on the poll. All right, Panthers fans. Here's a good one. Easy. Average. Colts fans, good. Colts fans are good. Colts fans are good just for surviving, just for being there. Yeah, yeah. They've had to put up with Carson Wentz, and now they'll have Matt Ryan, and the then Philip Rivers. They have had more retreads than uh, the oh, Miami Hurricanes go. coaching I think staff. you can just go ahead and put whatever team yeah. wins the Super Bowl into annoying. That's can that's we a do good that? Point. That's a good point, AJ. They did boo Wait, Andrew Luck. Yeah, they did retired. boo Luck. Fake fans. Ooh. Right here. Yeah. Chargers. Buccaneers. Yes. Buccaneers. <laughs> yep. Yep. See, I mean, how can you be a Chargers fan out. when most Band of their games are dominated put by Put Seattle the down there and fake. Seattle? Yes, I'd put Seattle that. is bad. I mean, the dude, Buccaneers, they, got, they like, don't even they know had... who Cortez Kennedy is, man. I will say, Buccaneers Cortez. fans are like diehard fans. They now get a lot of hate because Tom Brady has brought them success. Yes. But, I mean, well, there are a lot yeah, of Buccaneers fans that are right now. Yeah, what I'm saying about Bucks fans is this. Like, I think every fan base... As a core group of real fans, the problem with the Bucks is by Tom Brady coming over, they've got a lot of Patriots fans Patriots rooting fans. for them. Correct. Mm -hmm. Big ding, big ding right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then just a lot of people who like Tom Brady now root for the Bucks. So it's not a slight on the real hardcore Buck Bucks fans, but I would say the Bucks fan base has more fake fans right now than mm. any other group just or to any other piggyback team. off that. I am in Orlando. I would be a Tampa Bay Bucks fan if my dad didn't like the Cowboys. And let me tell you, the people in Orlando are rooting and have been rooting for the Bucks their whole lives. So this all of a sudden now happening has just been them realizing their dreams that they have been wanting to realize since John Gruden took Tony Junji's team and won a Super Bowl with them. But so, John Gruden beat John Gruden's old team. In that Super Bowl, people forget that part of the story. That's true. That is true. <laughs> you have to factor that in too. Check oh in. my goodness! Oh, yeah. there you wow. go. Wow. Three forty-one dot forty-eight. Who is uh, that? I know what this is. I know what this is about. There you He's go. Dropping Ooh. Beast of Metal is basically saying he hates Jacob Truba because he hit. <laughs> Sidney Crosby in the face with his elbow. Is this a pro? Yeah. He did more than Crosby, dude. He wants he did to a give me three. He wants to punish me somehow. So he wants my punishment to be I have to take an elbow in the face from Jacob Truba. That's what he wants. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm with it. I will figure this out. How to read a code of. Okay, you guys talk. Drop okay. Three, How about we just says. go to Eagles fans and put them at worst? Can we all come to a consensus on this? They both say oh, bad. I mean, See, I we got to figure out. We, Who's we worse can't than just the make Eagles? it climactic. Who's worse than the I, Eagles? I, I do think collectively they get a very bad rap because of previous incidents. Who but I have is talked worse? to a lot of. I have talked to a lot of Eagles fans, and like they've been fine. Yeah. It varies what? the type of Eagles fan. I would put Eagles fans in the good tier. I will, you know what? Honestly, <laughs> one of my best memories was going to the Des No Catch game, Four, and I had a layover in Philadelphia, eight. and I had my Packers jacket on, and I got so many cheers, and people really enjoyed the jacket. So just for that, I can't put them in worst. Yeah, I mean, I think the worst category I could put them in is violent. And I'd I, say ooh, violent, violent or bad. Would be good. I don't know like how much of that is just a weird pass that people hold on to versus who Eagles fans are now. Um, they were pretty cool when I was hyping them up during their playoff run and then when they beat the Patriots. So to me, they are very good fan base. Who? Eagles fans. You think they are good fans? Yeah. They I, I, I think had a jail. 
I think in violent. their stadium. Yeah, put violent. Okay. I think okay. is a good My thing. favorite violent, clip of all time is when some poor lady came from Minnesota and she was like talking to this young man and he was just saying, go birds, go birds, just drunk in her face. They I mean, will like, Eagles listen. fans will admit if you roll up in their parking lot with an opposing team sticker on your car, they will shake your car like you are. They did um, punch a police horse. Like yes. they did. They they yes. did punch a police horse. You know, they they didn't do the, violent, I think, is is good. Yes, I think oh. I think they are I think they also embrace that identity See, as with well. With the Rams, I say they're fake too because I think yeah. they don't show up to their games. They just mm-hmm. won the Super Bowl and nobody cared. Band you know, I, I mean yeah. they're basically the LA crowd now. And I'm not saying See, that's all Ram fans, but I'm saying overall, I'm thinking there's some fakeness going on. That's like you I'm, just said, the Lions I were more happy know about it. What split reality, what upside down what metaverse you guys are living in where the Eagles fans you guys are encountering are nice people. Yeah. I got some of these people on my tweets too. Yeah. They can't some of the, okay. But, but what the heck are we talking about here? The bottom 20% of the Eagles fans are the worst fans in the world. What are y'all on about? What are we talking about here? Go birds. We put, we put them in violent. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put them in violent. We Brandon wanted to put them in good, but since he's driving, he had them in good for a second. But they, I, yeah. I that I just want to say they embrace that identity. They like it. They, they really do. admit that they terrorize opposing. Like to me, if you cannot, if you're worried as a as a fan of another team of going to another stadium, like if you were truly. Like, I'm like, I don't know if I should wear this jersey. Like, that's a violent fan base. Correct. Okay. Am I I'm correct? Okay with violent. They're, they're definitely violent. I will. That's allowed. Violence, okay. Okay. Uh, why don't we go to the Panthers? Hmm. Just good. They're I feel like they're just miserable right sad. now. Sad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sad. They're sad. They're sad. But, yeah. yeah. They have like they're, a golden age of Cam Newton and then Sean Watson. And they're not embroiled in that, so there's that. But... You guys didn't have to get somebody who has 26 accusations against him. Good job. Hey, when that's the best you could say about the fan base, that's a sad fan base right now. They got an offensive <laughs> well, lineman instead of reaching on a QB. But hey, hey, they brought back Cam Newton last year. Remember he that? He's back. Got to get what's in seats. This next really one is really interesting. Out, yeah. The Bears. The Bears. Yeah. Because you know they have they have that core of long time, yeah, there's long that... suffering Bears yeah. fans. Don't they you? Are, no, 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 no. I'm right. gonna yeah. say this: don't they don't shut up about their top dare. players. They think their team's a lot right better than they are, the and they also yeah, don't shut up about annoying. 1985. Put them right next to the Packers. Don't you dare! Yeah. Nope, they're not good. No, no, we're voting you know, on you this. Know, what? They're between Wait, good. I got and one for the Bears. I All got right. one. For Give us day. an example. Oh, you got another row. How many rows are we going to have? We're just gonna <laughs> A have lot. 32. The Bears are in the Bears tier of fans. Just kind of like your aunt that's Living kind in of annoying, but you love her. Back to the future, baby. Got to go back to 1985. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what are, that's, that's what are Bengals fans? What are Bengals fans? <sighs> they were the ones I know now. are really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I say, say good. they're average. I would say they're good. But I remember, mean, they did have... stand Vontez for a long time. And no, they were more broken support. after that wild card game. They were broken yeah. for about five years. Yes, I but... would say good. Like some of them are getting a little bit uh, egregious with their view of Joe Burrow, but other it than took, that, it, they've been bad for a long time. I yeah, he could be their savior. It's fine. Too optimistic, maybe. Yeah, they went to the and Super that, Bowl last year. Good, right? Or, yeah. I say good. I vote I'll, good. Yeah, they're, good. They're a good fan base. A new hope. And you know what? I'm going good with Broncos, too. I will say Broncos have good fans Mm -hmm. in my my experience. Maybe this is just because a whole bunch of Cowboys players went to play for them, and this is just me. Get the hell out of there. Get Get out out of there. (laughs) Get out of there. Get out of there. Javid Best uh, here. By the way, I did put up a poll about the Packers fan base. 33% good, 56% 56 annoying, 11% worst. So put that back up to annoying. Yeah, I got 58% annoying over here. You no, no. Wait a minute. 
we're That's we're going with Tom now Brody. the chat all of a sudden just because the vote didn't go our oh, way. What's what going on? Saying, Wait, what goes no. to annoying? Uh, Packers, hundred percent. Packers are now annoying because Ooh. of Tom. Because of Tom. Okay, yeah. it's more than Tom, dude. This okay. is not me, Tom. This is the chat. Okay. I can't. Mm-hmm. This, this is the these days. Tom is going to become violent <laughs> and just like <laughs> smear himself me. in Vaseline and that just just go me. ham. Right in front of Lambeau Field, and right. it will be the greatest thing we've ever seen. It's going to for be the Texans prime material. Okay, we need we need to add another tier for the Texans. Just broken, yeah, uh, just broken <laughs> just down, down, egregious, trodden, just sad every day. Just I would say they need is... Jesus, but unfortunately, just, and then I tell you, I want to comment. Do you really think the Cowboys and Packers are on the same level? No. But there's we're no way. There's it's just no a, way. It's a difference. It's a difference. Like we are Ooh. annoying because we are eternally optimistic. We are holding on to our past championships. You guys are annoying because you are holding on to uh our Aaron Rodgers. Players? Aaron Rodgers. Charles Martin. So uh, we're annoying because we're rooting for our current players on the team. I mean, listen, I know you're giving yours away for fifth round picks, but in terms of us. Hearing, dude, you gave death threats to Marquez Valdez Scantling after he fumbled against the Colts. So, oh, okay. So wait, now we're going with death threats for fan bases. I'm pretty sure every single one of your fan bases have done death threats. Not mine. You see, even though. Oh, some what about ism in the chat. All right. Even this argument in itself is exposing the annoying factor that the Packers sides can bring out. You are proving God responding to a Cowboys fan who every single season goes, we're going to the Super Bowl. We are. And this season. You never do. Let's see what happens this season. You never do. That's all I can tell you. You never do. All right, uh, I, I would say just put the Packers back in good. They're just no, no, it's fine. It's fine. If, if, if uh, I will take annoying if the Cowboys go to bad or worst, I would put them in worst. I put Cowboys up to bad. Whoa. I'd be okay with it. I'd take annoying for the Cowboys How to go to bad. Cowboys fans, bad. Bad is not showing up. You guys to a rush game. into the stadium like it's Black Friday and it's a signed seating. <laughs> yeah, but a bad but, but it's fan it's is not uh, there seating at all. room only is only like yeah, that's a what a bad fan is for. not showing up. A bad fan is not watching the game. A bad fan is someone who's indifferent, apathetic. That's not bad. We just risked the criteria about saying that they're going to the Super Bowl every year and don't. That was one of the <laughs> yeah. criteria. Unnecessary that, that optimism. That, that is in the annoying category. That doesn't yeah. make you bad if you're saying you're going. That makes you annoying. Okay, okay. so then the Packers are good. All right. Uh, I'm I'm revoking your can, law degree. I don't I don't care scooter. anymore. They can stay in. I don't All right. Know. We can, can we go to Casey? I want to hear Brandon's oh. opinion of oh, Casey boy. fans. <laughs> wow. See, this is I got to be careful here zoom in because <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs fans notoriously, I hate you. I hate your guts. <laughs> you are my enemy. Not as much as I really hated Raiders fans, and at a time I hated Chargers fans the most because I lived in San Diego and the Chargers were good. But based on YouTube and the amount of Chiefs fans who are like, I hate your team with every ounce of my being, but I love watching your show. (laughs) I have a big soft spot now for Chiefs fans because they support my bullshit. (laughs) Um, We made it. I would say vocally on Twitter, Chiefs fans are probably the most ridiculous Part of that's because the Broncos haven't beaten them in six years. So at this point, I'm kind of just tired of hearing about how we can't beat them, even though it's true. That's going to change with uh, King of Corn, Russell Wilson in town now. But I'll defer to you guys to to place the Chiefs. I would give them annoying. I would have to go with annoying for Chiefs fans because they show up Arrowhead goes back and forth with Seattle as one of the loudest stadiums. So in terms of like actual support for the team, it's pretty strong. Uh, that would be my, I would say annoying. That would be my compromise between worst and <laughs> I could good. see annoying, especially over the Super Bowls. Yeah, I could see it. I, I would say they annoying. are good fans generally, but they I are. I mean, they did kind of get kind of whiny mm-hmm. in the beginning of last year when they were struggling. So. Yeah. It yeah. was mostly. They used to be lovable. Them, but when they got that's robbed what I by mean. the refs. When you don't win and you finally win, you're lovable. But once you get that taste, 
Yep. You only need so much oxygen before you're toxic. And yes. that's going to happen to Buffalo. It's going to happen to any other team that gets good really quickly. Detroit, it's going to happen oh. to them. Just you watch. Con and there's going to be a bunch you of pent up energy, and they're just going to take it out on the rest of us. I'll understand why, but it's going to happen. Trust me. They also have to put up put up with Jackson and and what um Brit what's oh, his wow. wife's name? They have to just they have Brittany. to be like, oh yeah, yeah, Brittany. They have to be they have mm-hmm. to be like, oh yeah, they're on our team too. So what yeah, they're doing? not overtly <laughs> supporting them, which I kind of respect. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, they're not always I like, oh yeah. You guys yeah. take on this team, the Ravens. Okay, because this one's Ooh. interesting because it's almost like split because half Loaded. of the half the team's fans are like diehards they have Lamar's back Lamar Jackson's back and the other team thinks this man's a running back uh, so it's sort of like I don't know what, See, what do you I mean? don't think that's coming from Ravens fans it though I think varies. like an actual Ravens fan doesn't think Lamar Jackson's a running back because they actually watch they get very defensive very defensive if you yes. like Criticize Lamar well, Jackson because it's and not come true. After you like <laughs> well, yeah, I, varies, I would get though. defensive too if you called Daniel Jones like good. So I'm yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. What I'm saying that. Right. About. Right. What what mean is, good. I have seen some Ravens fans who are, uh, they're not Team Lamar Jackson. I have seen some Ravens fans who are like that. Yes, I also have seen the diehards who are like, you don't watch football, reporter. If you're saying this man doesn't can't stand in the pocket. And throw the ball. Check the statistics. So I don't know. See, but what? that, but I, ah, I will go to that then for the Ravens because, like, like five just said, if you're say like it got a tired, a tired old meme, right? Being like, oh, Lamar Jackson's a running back, running back, running back. Like the guy is a good QB and can let it sling. So like, I would get annoyed if that was just like the constant thing that was said over and over and over again. So I would put I, Ravens fans at average. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, agree I'd agree with that. Yeah, I mean, I Raven Steelers. It just gets violent, but for the most part, I don't have a problem with them. <laughs> I like. Yeah, them. but that's like, true. There, there are like at least right five there. fights that yeah. happen at Heinz Field mm-hmm. with Raven Steelers. It, it gets ugly. Okay. Uh, this next Dolphins. one, they just oh, don't get one stern. I see the bolts, though. Do you want to do the bolts? The bolts are. Uh, how can you even grade base. a fan base when <laughs> most of them are in San Diego? Right. Right. Well, they're, to, to me, they're just. Okay, like the ones that live in San Diego, great fans when they were there, but the ones that are in LA, they don't come to the games, right? And then well, they're they mostly cause, there for just to lost, be seen, just like the right. Rams. They stopped coming, so they lost their team. Like you can't have you can't tell me that they're anything but bad fans, especially now that they're in LA. I would say because I would say just the lack of showing up, and that's not necessarily yeah. their fault, but like you said, even in San Diego, like they're blacking out their own games. So yeah, Sorry. my, I don't my really defense have to worry, of that was know. like, since I lived in San Diego, it's just like the city's so cool. There's like so much to do that trying to figure out like three hours on Sunday to watch a Chargers game when you could just be at the beach or <laughs> doing something cooler. Right. <laughs> better right. things to do. Yeah. But we'll say bad because... Uh, they Absolutely. don't show up for like their that. team. That to yeah, me is they, like the number the one prior criteria for being a bad fan base. And they've had good teams games. too. That's what's mm-hmm. weird. Like yeah. Rivers and uh, Tomlinson and Antonio Gates. Like they had some fun football. Like it always ended in tragedy. But how are Packers in good? What? I'm sorry. I don't get it either. You guys but the majority threw trash at the referees last year. Who? Which organization you, hasn't the done Dallas that? Cowboys, because which of your coach's ineptitude, not... threw trash at the referees. Look, have the Packers never thrown trash at referees ever in their existence? <laughs> Didn't they have a snowball fight? Was that a thing? Like, has every team not thrown trash at the? Re- I don't understand. I, I don't. I don't remember any incident where the Packers fans threw trash at no. referees. I, think... I don't. It's I don't like know. a shocking Recall. development when they boo the Packers at Lambeau. And they're like, Good. whoa, like the fans yeah, are really makes unhappy. News. Yeah, that makes Good. news. Good. Packers Dolphins. Fans. Ace I Ventura. Feel like fake. fake? Well, okay. Mid? I, I'm in Florida. Mid-a-tier. I know the Dolphins fans, okay? This is where – this is the Dolphin fan. They don't like uh, Tua. That's where they're at right now. They don't know if they're – it's a split faction. Some are team Tua, 
Some think this man is garbage and they need a QB of the future. So do with that what you will. Does that make them bad fans? I don't know. What does that make someone? Five, because I think like five is in a similar situation, right? So you look at Daniel Jones and you're like, okay, maybe this year under Dable, like he could be good, but he also might be trash. Like, isn't that kind of what we're thinking about with the Dolphins? Like, hey, under McDaniel could be good, but also could be trash. Yeah, they've been bad for a while. The the Dolphins... They just haven't had like a star since Dan Marino. You know what I mean? I say, yeah. yeah. Like, I think the Dolphins are a good fan base, but they've been deprived for so long that they're just average now. Yeah. Yeah. Dolphins living in 85. Yeah. They, they yeah. Put them, put them the right 80s. next to the Bears. There they go. pop champagne the every single time. So, yes. Oh, yeah. They're living in 72. Yeah. That's where they're yeah. living. I'll just get into this too. Are they really yeah. living in 72? I feel like more or less that's well, the 72. If you, if you don't think that that's the most past, douchey you gotta put the thing. Cowboys and living in you literally pop champagne. Do you not I'll think pop champagne the, after they win? A game. Is that uh, not the most douchey thing to do in this era when they, it was a 14 win <laughs> season uh, back then? It was when there was how many teams? Come on, that record cannot be. No one's going what 20 and 0. Look, that's not if, happening. If, oh, dude, Packers, if we're actually talking living in the past, we should move the Cowboys down there too. I just <laughs> said that. Now we look at our 10 day forecast. It's looking a little bit like those Dallas Cowboys is peaking in the 90s. <laughs> that guy's it's legend. I'm glad you used that. I'm it's glad legend. you played. It's so, so great. played out. Like we've heard all your jokes. It's true. Yeah, I'd say we all it's true. It's true. More annoying. All like See, but here's the thing, Scooter. Here's the difference, right? Because Not funny on the seventeenth time, we right? It's but funny. you would think it's at some true. point it would it's humble funny. you a little bit to be like, hey, you no, know what? Yeah, we had a really good run in the nineties, but we haven't in really the done the anything NFC since then. Uh, Scooter, Scooter. The Steelers are winning the Super Bowl a lot earlier than Dallas. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Or they're at least going, Tree. They're at least going. Oh, they're, they're, they're going to the Super Bowl. They're going to the Super Bowl, Bowl last year. You know, uh, TJ Watt went there. Cam Hayward went there. Probably a few other Steelers went Look, there. So the all Steelers I know did is go to the Super Bowl. If the Packers are in good, you better put the Vikings right next to them as good. That's all I know. Ooh, Vikings Tom, are the are most put these complicated. Put yeah, the need Vikings. To, we need to you isolate like Tom on this one. Right next to the Packers. Oops, Oops my oh. bad. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. How do I? How do oh, I? I... <laughs> Perna, Tom, no, Perna likes the Vikings. How do I Go get Vikings? Tom... Isoed. Uh, okay. Wow, you're, you're really isoing? hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> I don't, how we do you make Tom talk. the feature? We could just talk. It's I'll okay. Do that. Just talk. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That works. All you got to do is click the little human thing. Yeah, 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 I got you. The Vikings fan base, I actually... uh, All right, I like the Lions fan base a lot more. I do. (laughs) The Bears are slightly uh, slightly above the Vikings. The Vikings, for me, every single year, they are, one, cocky as hell. But the reason I am going to argue that they need to go in the bad category is because they celebrated and still do breaking Aaron Rodgers' collarbone. <laughs> they put it in their newspapers. You have them frame photos. Like, by far. Like, they're celebrating breaking a guy who's right. not even on their team. Breaking their collarbone. So, yeah, no, they're, it's, they're bad. Yeah, they're going to put up a statue of Anthony Barr. What if this just moves them into the violent Ted Simmons would still be there. No, Vikings fans don't fight. The only thing they're violent towards is birds because all the birds die from their stadium. They they kill a lot of birds. Nothing wrong with killing birds, you know. Maybe the Eagles in the playoffs. (laughs) They have a really nice stadium. Where does the tear maker go? Can we bring that back? Oh, yeah, I'm good with Vikings six. at bad. Nothing wrong. With no, they're not fans. bad fans either, though. I would they call are, them bad. They're like they're a mix bad. of sad. They're like average. They're a mix average. of you don't put good. Them right next to they're the... bad. Average. They feel they're like an average fan base to me. I wouldn't call them bad. They're at not all. bad. I would say they're, like average. they're going to the game. They will stay. They will rush to Kirk Cousins' aid like a house is on fire. Mm, like they like were. The, they're just look. You do not varies. talk bad about like Kirk that? Cousins. It, it varies. I mean, they some of them just stats. want him gone. They start there, there are losing. a lot of people that oh, hate Kirk they Cousins. turn on him real quick. They yeah, turn on him real quick. Yeah. But you, he's like your kid, though. Only I can make fun of him. 
Only I can make fun of my own child. Can we have consensus on worst and put the Patriots fans there? Yes or no? Oh, easy. Oh, okay. Listen, I've been thinking about this. We have to put the Patriots fans in worst because we have to have some – we have to take them down a peg, right? They've yeah. had yeah. it so And they good. love winning. Eh. You know, they For the last 20 winning. years. You won. Well, all they you have to remember is so Mark Wahlberg. Good. He left when the game became 28-3. to It's the one thing Ooh. we can agree on that – Patriots yeah. fans need to shut At up. Least they have we the can least all cool. come together for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least there's some consensus here. See, I think there's another team that's worst. Least oh. cool musician to support I the think team. I know which one let's, bon Jovi. Well, that's let's the find only out. reason I put worst for Pats fans. Bon <laughs> Thank Jovi. you. He's from New Jersey, but doesn't stand. I know who either. Tom wants at worst. Can yeah. I take uh, a guess? Can you put the Saints fans in violent? Immediately, can I put, take a guess for Tom. It's Seahawks fan. Seahawks. Yeah, Seahawks is <laughs> yeah, are some I can of the see worst. That. Seahawks are the freaking worst, man. Why are they the fans since 2011? Worst. I Why are the Seahawks fans the worst? The Seattle Seahawks so much. Seahawks with are bad. Every fiber Why? of my being. Why? Uh, 12th man. 12th what's man. Yeah, they, their whole well, all they, they hear about hockey. anything. Uh, the only thing they talk about before 2011 is how man. they were allegedly screwed out of a Super Bowl because Jeremy Stevens decided to Holding. drop everything in sight. Mm -hmm. Yep, Legion of Boom. They were insufferable yep. for ever. Y'all didn't like that. Like, uh, or here's ever. the thing: mention like to them the of either Dave Krieg, Steve Largent, or you know Kurt Warner, or Dan even Cortez Kennedy. You, oh, they don't know any of those four. You're not a real Seahawks fan. I'm sorry, Cortez, man. What y'all know about Cortez Kennedy? Cortez yes, Kennedy was a beast. Do not slander. He Cortez was a beast. Mm -hmm. Cortez Kennedy was a beast. And I Jim Zorn. Him. You didn't even mm -hmm. know their starting quarterback was Jim Zorn. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Boom. I think. No, uh, see, go go ahead. ahead, Adam. Sorry. No, I just Seattle fans in in general are usually. I mean, other than Mariners fans because they're just so broken, but. Uh, yeah, they, they got real cocky uh, <laughs> right up until Malcolm Butler <laughs> intercepted. I wonder Malcolm. why, Brad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right up until that happened. And they still talk smack. They still talk smack. How are Packers fans good, bro? This is just I, every time I'm seeing it, it's just right there. I don't know. I yeah. just, I don't I, They know it, the game. It's, it's hometown bias. Okay. Hometown bias. Okay. That's All right. We Saints voted. Fans. We voted. Saints fans. Saints fans, I would also throw into sneaky violent. Violent. Sneaky violent. <laughs> I don't yeah. think these people There's cared about game? that. Uh, when they had that bounty gate, I don't think they cared that much. They were just like, oh, well. <laughs> they were just like, no, we don't talk about yeah, it. We're they're just like Astros out. fans. They're like, Oops. yeah, we, we got to You got to We got our. We got our. We got to break done. some eggs, right? You know, you got to make an omelet. If, you got to break some eggs. So we broke a couple the legs. Yeah. Here's here's something I found about Saints fans. Uh, on the NFL subreddit, they have claimed uh, people visiting Saints games. Security at the Superdome is so lax and used to the vile behavior from the home fans that they sometimes are unable or unwilling to respond to fan complaints. Uh, I think they're just another team that has a lot of incidents during the games. Uh, Listen, Mardi Gras, baby. They're so a you're good saying, fan base, though, so you're in terms saying, of supporting that team. Right. You know what I mean? So if you're saying if you're at a Saints game and some uh, fella is naked next to you, help you're is not, not on the way. Nope. Help. Yeah, help is not help on the way. Help is not on the way. <laughs> no, you're just going to have to handle that situation on your own. But I'd put them under good, probably. They're generally good fans. Generally. They're generally. good violent. Good violent. Not the bad good violent. <laughs> good violent. Good violent. Chaotic good violent neutral. Fan base. Yeah, good violent. We'll just have to change that. Uh, Giants fans, we are annoying. I'll just say that. Oh, I, I trust me. Right I, I hear it every Tuesday. Um, yeah, we're somewhere between bad and annoying. Because listen, I'm I'm one of the more pessimistic Giants fans. <laughs> the Giants fans that I see again, as soon as we win four games in a row, they're like Giants are going to the Super Bowl, and I'm like, we are not going to win the <laughs> NFC East. Okay, like. Calm Let yourself. Have, I would just say us, that we're annoying. We're give annoying. us Kadarius we Tony right now. Y'all are not utilizing this man properly. I, you know what? I'll put you guys, uh, instead of average or bad, I put you guys at average. I used to not like you a lot more, but I despise the other Jersey fan base so much more. 
That's because fair. I've been to so many games at MetLife and Old Meadowlands. Yeah, the Jets fans. See, I disagree. I just think I think we're annoying. Just like me in most social situations, we are pretty annoying. That's <laughs> oh yeah, I'm okay uh, with you. I, I can I can vouch. Yeah, yeah. I just either, go up to people. Works. Let's and do the Titans. Like, hey, mm. uh, just because I don't think anybody's waiting for the Titans, so <laughs> I'll go to sad. <laughs> There's one guy. They're pretty there. sad. Wait a minute. They're pretty sad. Yeah. Well, now, yeah. especially with how the stadium's falling apart and they're trying yep. to strangle for a new one. Yep. Yeah. 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 Pretty sad. Oh, pretty is it? Sad. Where is it? Yeah. They got announced. Is it in Canada? Nashville's full of sadness. So we want to go. Okay. Jets then we've got the Jets. I don't the wonder new why you went for it. Jets. Sad. I sad. Like... Pathetic. Yeah, can we? Sad. Can we add a pathetic Jets, tier? Honestly, I would put worst. They. They for me are worst or bad. Like they I would throw a butt horrendous. fumble category because they cannot stand that saying. They <laughs> I think are saying. But I think you put them in the worst because they're so annoying and their lamenting is so sad. No, 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 no. Them, oh. I put them at the worst because they're a bunch of violent a-holes. Like <laughs> my I brought my he was 12 at the time, my 12-year-old brother to the nine-nothing game where the Packers won nine-nothing against the Jets. And that kid got cursed out so many times. He's 12. Got cursed out so this is years ago. Like they are terrible. Like they're cocky, they're a-holes, they're drunk at the games, like to the oh, extreme yeah. amount. Yeah, I live well, in New York. Be no, nah, they Jets suck. Fan. They this is, oh, these I are Jets, fans? Them Jets fans. We're gonna have to no. do it. Like all you have to say is they're fans. from North Jersey. Nothing good ever comes oh, yeah, out of they're North Jersey. Jersey. It's they're terrible. Yeah, really? okay. it is the I most depressing no place to ever drive. Idea about Jets fans like this. Chad, did y'all know about Jets fans like that? See, but there's like two different types of fans. There's IRL fans, and then there's fan Twitter. The and IRL ones are bad. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I'm just saying. And a lot of people go. basing this off I of why was Steelers, <laughs> saving the Steelers for last yeah. entry. Hmm. Well, let's put it this way. There are That's two you. modes of Steeler fan. Whenever we win, we're going to the Super Bowl, no matter how badly we played and how ugly we won. When we lose, everyone needs to be fired. This team sucks. We need to tank for the draft. It is awful. At certain playoff games, there are people that leave in the first quarter. It is bad. <laughs> it is casual at its most. We are uninformed yokels for the most part that don't know how the hell anything is played outside of Steeler football. And for the most part, Mike Tomlin needs to be fired every single week. Some of it justifiably, but for the most part, <laughs> whenever he pees incorrectly or whenever he doesn't hit, put the seat down when he flushes the toilet, he, he needs to be fired. <laughs> it's... I don't know if it's the steel or the Pramanis or what, but you also have to remember uh, we did the wave when a guy was injured on the floor and we try to defend it because <laughs> apparently we didn't know a guy was injured. And trust me, it's, uh, See, maybe, maybe that is there, but it's, uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it's rough. <laughs> Here's why I want to make a case. For That's why we are the bad. best fan base in football. <laughs> and that's why we're competing with the Bills. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> See, but Tree doesn't believe but, it. So, like, there's a little to. part of that's yeah. like, okay, it's like, it's I funny. I believe it. Like, I know I'm that's the problem. There, are parts, that, there is a part <laughs> of me that doesn't believe it, though. But like, here's the, the thing. Right mood, I do God. Tree or is God, a too. Steelers fan, and his content is based around the Steelers. He gets more crap from Steelers fans than anybody else. That, is true. that tells you <laughs> he's about why the Steelers. Steelers. <laughs> like they don't I think that he's Steeler enough for them. I can't and I'm just like, it. why? Well, right it's because I don't lap their dick. I mean, like <laughs> either like you get the people that are like really cynical and think we're just gonna like be terrible, like me. Or you get the ones that just drink the Kool-Aid left and right, and the Steelers can do nothing wrong. There's no middle ground. Oh no, my there is no I, middle ground. I would make an argument for Steelers fans <laughs> good. being God. good to one of the best fan bases. <laughs> it they, they are it very... In terms I mean, of team like support, we, we are, like, we yeah. are We like pain. So we they will are, cheer for the Steelers yeah, hey, through hell. No, you, and Brandon I know Tree said Brandon's it before. Right. It's, not, it's not that Steelers fans actually travel well. It's just that they're everywhere. <laughs> they are the one fan base that brings in the most fans to Mile High Stadium 
When, because like, most of the people playing. left Pittsburgh in the yeah, 70s and 80s when the yeah, steel mill was closed. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. what happens. All, I will say and then they they're just going like, to a Broncos they, game they and go, oh crap, I forgot the Steelers were playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's my good thing I always have this Steelers shirt on. Don't worry, the Steelers clothes. won, I believe, last time they were in Denver. So. All I know the is Broncos I am won, sorry. so glad that Urinating Tree is a part of this show. That is all I know. I don't know about I, that, man. I don't know about that. Maybe I, I know about that. And I, Can we I move the Lions to, to sad and leave the Browns in the category with the Lions and Browns? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Lions at least have hope. They, they have yeah. a good season. <clears throat> yes. The uh, Lions are sad. So fans. is this all right, let's, our final ranking? Are we, we going to lock Packers it in good? Wait, what are the Texans? Is they just blank? <laughs> no, they're just broken. Right? Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't I read the wrong color there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is this our final list? Chat, take one good look. Take your screenshots now. Let us know where we messed up. Ooh. Because we, we know it's the Packers, but where else did we <laughs> mess up? On Ravens, man. I don't know. Oh. Mm. Mm. I would put them I don't, I don't know if KC fans are really straight. annoying. I don't know. Eh, I think it's more of a recent phenomenon. But, eh. All right. All right. Let's let lock it. Lock it. All right. Get the uh, Broncos out of there, Perna. No, yeah, we're not. Get, get the that. Packers yeah, in. Broncos are not. Packers in. Oh, oh, I already X'd it out. Sorry. Oh, too late. All right. Did we have any punishments from last? What was the punishment that was doled out last week? I have to go to Walmart. I haven't done that yet. Oh, I yes. still have to dress up in an Eagles uh, costume and get two people to say the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Oh, fly, yes. Eagles, fly. But do you guys want me to do that closer to football season? Or I think it's better in a, a punish- random summer. A punishment is a punishment, buddy. That's like I'm this is waiting for the I'll Celtics to either win or lose to do my book report on them. Yes. Okay. okay. Can we get the countdown? All right. Hold on. Okay. Show the countdown. All right, here we go. Ready, ready, Countdown. ready. Countdown. T minus five, four, three, I will two, do the accent sounds. one to accent the countdown. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up? Echo, 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 echo. Oh, someone else rapping today? No, 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 no. You're rapping. 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. four. Scooter arguing the Cowboys is what lowered their score. Oh, they yeah. could have been in good, but now they're bad or annoying. And every time they think they're going to Super Bowl, well, we're just toying with their feelings. Because they're not. That's my rap. Steelers are. That's my rap. <laughs> We still need the Scooter Tom rap battle. That needs to happen. Yo, yes. We can do it. At some point. I'm ready. You let me know, Tom. We well, I definitely it. didn't lose. I'm 133.27. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Mm. Not like this. It's I am in trouble. Yeah, it's I'm I am 285.96, so Ooh. I think I'm clear. All right. Okay. I'm at 325.49. There Ooh. you go. I didn't win. Scooter, hold on. Let me get mine in because Beast of Metal wanted to send a cryptic FU Truba message with a three hundred and forty-one dollars and forty-eight cents. I am at forty-one game suspension for eight. (laughs) What are you at? Five twenty-eight dot forty. And Pizza Man dropped a fifty on me at the end. Five twenty-eight forty. And Carl Lindsay. Eight. Dropped a hundred. Well, what do you got, Scooter? Unfortunately, it looks like you are the winner, five, because I got four hundred eleven ninety three. Let's go. Keep gaming. Do you want to talk about it? I appreciate the donation, though. Um. <laughs> all right. So here's the thing, and I'm curious. So on the Friday night Q and A uh, last week, something was unearthed. Apparently on Amazon, someone has written five volumes, not saying all five volumes, of Bigfoot erotic fiction. And the (laughs) idea for the punishment was that someone had to buy one of the books and select multiple passages to share from and read aloud. (laughs) This is what Kip wanted. So they to wanted do. it for Scooter. Yeah, so we could wait. <laughs> or we could give it to five. No, I said I feel like waiting for Scooter five. might be better. We should go ahead and give this the five, Chad. What are we thinking? I Type mean, you one. don't want me reading erotic fiction. Type because one because he's gonna finish the book. I am not five. smooth. It'll type be type two like, if you don't if you want to do a different punishment, and type three if you're just here so you won't get fine. Adam, this is what erotic fiction. 
it's yes. erotic let, Bigfoot. Here, <laughs> let me let me give you an example of how yes, this is gonna sound. Yes, all right. Percent. Yes. Oh my God. Wait. And can he paint hair- it instead? Can he paint? Ooh. Can we get him to yes. paint again? And it yes. has to be Bigfoot erotic picture. Wait, was that painting you did real, Adam, or was that a Photoshop? No, he what, painted it. it. He painted that. He painted no, it. He painted it. Dude, he the painted that on Oh, oh, the painting of you? No, that was a Photoshop, Photoshop. all day. That was an <laughs> excellent a lot of people level. think that's real, and then I started. Yes, to that's think what's it might even be. better. Even better. All right. It looked real. Like. And Bigfoot with this throbbing hairy <laughs> member. That's yeah, that's why I want Scooter to read that. I think if you paint it oh. <laughs> fully aroused. Yeah, painting erotic, but it has to be tasteful, but you gotta <laughs> paint erotic costume. Bigfoot. The in other a okay. big in on, a Bigfoot costume. Volume one, which is five books for ten dollars. <laughs> Dang, that's a good deal. And <laughs> underpriced underpriced what this is the point of my you're going to be their side. first customer they're going to be like gerald i finally sold one this has been one of my favorite episodes of clickbait this was fun. i knew writing that fun. big foot erotic fiction someone would find it would it. pay off I knew it. Things Make are sure looking up. The big foot it was worth Things it. Things are turning around, mom. Not sending the kids to college. It was worth yeah, it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I feel like you knew about this before. No, the chat yeah, like, in his living room. room. Okay. Hold and on. My question is, Tom. who in your chat knows about Bigfoot erotic? Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> Tom. So the author's in his living room, and there's just stacks of Bigfoot erotica, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just stacks and they're stacks. like held with bookends that are big feet. Right, right. <laughs> Things yeah. are and and some of the pages are sticky mm-hmm. too. <laughs> okay, what do you guys? What's coming out on your channel, Brandon? Anything? Okay. Yeah, I got a uh, players who are going to have a breakout season tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow. Okay. Offensive player. Give us one. Give us one. Tease it. Amon, Ra, 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 St. Brown, baby. Nice. Mm, okay. Nice, okay. nice. Probably tomorrow. the most popular uh, name mentioned was Amon Ra. So. Yes. True, though. I've got it's a true. video on North Korean, their national men's football or soccer team. How secretive, their bizarre history, just uh, one of the craziest organizations you've ever seen. There you go. <laughs> tree what's coming out well i'm actually doing a vid on the pga tour versus live golf situation Ooh, oh, i thought that was I interesting see. it is interesting so i, I felt I, like it was something worth talking about so you know what i'm hoping to have that out tomorrow <laughs> i will i will watch that uh tom what's coming out i don't know what's coming out tomorrow there is a guy cutting down a tree the town cut down a tree so i dressed up as wildflower and went out and confronted him <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what? Okay. I did that this morning. When's the when's part two of the Tinder coming out? That was funny. Uh, next week. Yeah, it's gonna come okay. out next week. That was so very want, funny. There's watch some finished. more uh lore. Get get more lore based. That's coming out on Tom's channel. Coach on Saturday, baby. All right, what is my punishment for I mean uh, beast, draw beastie an erotic Before, Bigfoot? Yeah, yes. Uh but <laughs> I have a I'm making a video for game one, so that'll be out, the reaction to game one. That'll be out in maybe three hours on the main channel. And then hopefully we got NBA game six reaction tomorrow, and that's the end of it, or maybe a game seven. There's going to be a game seven, for sure. There might be. I say game seven. All right. Well, now, well, wow. now we look at our 10-day forecast. It's looking a little bit like those Dallas Cowboys is peaking in the 90s.